but that's the okay. ungodly geeks. Oh, I was going to start there, <laughs> but okay, I'm we'll Joe. Fucking start it now, God damn it! I want to get the fuck home so I can go to bed. Well, this is partially your fault. I know. <laughs> Actually, it's mostly your fault. It I was not awake. Mostly my fault. <laughs> I was awake and ready to go. <laughs> yes, but you didn't get those messages when I got here. So, oh my you god, might not eight have minutes, them, Luke. Eight you minutes might not have gotten to five hours. <laughs> What well, was it? Five hours. That was the early show. Well, yeah, but one. it was like there was one at five. I was thinking we could go see, and then I was like, "Fuck it." Was there one at five? I need some sleep. They it was, it was early as fuck. Yeah, because I mean they don't even usually start move like new movies until seven. Apparently, they fucking doing I, early as hell showings now, which is cool. I mean, I was spread them out a little bit. I was sitting there in my bedroom, like, "All right, Luke, let's do this thing." And then, uh, like, I looked on Telegram, <laughs> last scene four hours ago. Fuck. Oh, no, I was up and I was actually getting ready and everything. Got my shower. Right, left. right. No, yeah. but I really did end up fucking having to turn around because there's no signs that mention the fact that the road's going to close on the way here. And then turned around, got onto Corain, and got stuck behind a fucking car being towed. That was the, the tow truck was in my lane facing me. Oh. The wrong direction. And there was another, like, I don't know if it was an emergency vehicle or what. Right, right. It had a flashing light. Right. It was blocking both lanes of traffic. Right. Like, for safety. For right, of course. Yeah. I mean, make sure nobody yeah. decides to just say fuck it and go. Which, you know, is so fucking great to have that. Oh, man, yeah. Sat there. That's always the best, like, waiting for an accident. Like, uh, when we had an accident right up here um, at the top of my hill here while I was waiting for the bus. And this happened before I got up there, but I'm coming, I'm walking up the fucking street and apparently a car turned and they didn't turn far enough or they didn't turn, it turned too sharply, crashed into two others, mm -hmm. took two of them out. I'm like, oh, Oof. and like the entire freaking area is blocked. I'm like, Tim, I might be late to work tonight. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where the bus is getting in. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was something else. Uh, so today, up. you know, we're going to talk about some things. Yeah. Movie. Movie stuff, because we went and saw a movie, like we said. I don't know if we said that during the podcast yet, or that was in the pre-cut pre video. Um, but we went and saw Godzilla, King of the Monsters. That is the title, right? I have yep. no idea. I it don't is remember. King of the Monsters. Um, but, of course, before we get into that, time for everybody's favorite segment, the uh, News of the Stupid, which I, I, I love this so much. But uh, yesterday, uh, as in May 29th, it, it, it came out that the Department of Energy is now calling fossil fuels molecules of freedom and freedom gas. Folks, I seriously cannot make this up. Freedom gas. Um, in a we're press gonna release. Free, we're going to freedom the shit out of you. In a press release uh, from the Department of Energy. Uh, there is a line, and I quote, I'm reading this directly from the press release. I am pleased the Department of Energy is doing what it can to promote an efficient regulatory system that allows for the molecules of U.S. freedom to be exported to the world. And I'm just, really? It goes on to basically talk about a project called the, um, uh, called a, uh, the Freeport LNG which is a, 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 a company in Houston, Texas, to uh, export gas pro process at a new liquefaction plant. They're, doing, they're building one of those off the coast of Texas. And uh, they explain it by saying, increasing export capacity from their Freeport LNG project is critical to spreading freedom gas throughout the world by giving America's allies a diverse and affordable source of clean energy. So now uh, it, it looks like hydrocarbons are molecules of U.S. freedom, and natural gas is called freedom gas. Freedom. Fucking freedom gas. Freedom molecules gas. Molecules of freedom. I hate it. I molecules hate it of so U.S. freedom. Of U.S. freedom. It's got to be very specific. Oh, God. It's one of those things that just makes you go, really? Well, I mean, it's worse. It's like even uh, like other politicians tweeting about it. Um. Like, it's worse than Freedom Fries. It's so much worse. Like, it's, Freedom Fries is one of those things where I, was, can, I can actually get behind, it, right? I, I wouldn't get like behind Like, a little it. bit, like, a little bit to a degree, because it's, it's like... It's dumb, but, they, it, like, they know it's dumb, you And know? it makes sense. Like, they're embracing that dumbness. Exactly. Like, that's that's where... That's why that's why I can get behind I it. I hate... This is one of those things, though, that's so incredibly stupid that all I can sit there and think of... Why? Why? 
I just my my problem with the concept of freedom fries is the people who think like oh it's just fucked French they're a bunch of fucking surrendering frog pan no look I you know in the wars France, throughout the years France has been badass as well fuck. not just badass France has been they're they're a country that's been at war since they became a country pretty much yeah like since the they United, were gone just like the United States yeah France is usually one of the first ones in fucking conflict for both bad and good yep. Considering the fact that we were in Vietnam because of France, right? French first, and then the United States. But it's like was it's asked like to join, and then the French pulled out. Let's not forget that uh, you know the whole overthrowing the British monarchy that we did back in the 1700s might not have been possible without help from France. Yeah. So I mean, you know, let's give those guys some credit. They're the no, reason I mean, America uh, exists. France got that reputation for surrendering in World War II, but they didn't. Uh, it's there's a lot of stuff about that. Yeah, the, the, it's just stupid. To, this freedom fries when it's you know the joke, it's funny, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's no, like I mean, okay, I get it. Uh, <clears throat> haha, this this just fucking hurts my brain. It does. Doesn't this it? is so stupid. Is this the one of those quote, things? It's just like why the fucking quote from Rick Perry. This just makes me just want to fucking. I just want to find him and kick him in the nuts. He probably he says, deserves it just for being Rick Perry. He says, 75 years after liberating Europe from Nazi Germany occupation, Nazi Germany, Nazi Germany occupation, not Jesus Nazi German, man. you fucking illiterate fuck. The United States is again delivering a form of freedom to the European continent. Congratulations, Europe. And rather, and rather than in the form of young American soldiers, it's in the form of liquefied natural gas. Oh, God area of energy to any of our european friends who are listening <laughs> nobody hates this more than we do <laughs> just jesus fuck you guys might find it offensive you might find it funny you might find it stupid let me tell you nobody finds it more stupid than we do i live in this country i was born in this country i've grown up in this country i i've seen it change throughout the last 30 years, the last three decades, it's all been stupid. We've just been getting stupider over the last 30 years. This, this is like pinnacle of stupid. This, this is the, this is, this is it. We, we can't, can't be stupid. I don't know if we can go any farther than this, but I know that if I say that and I make that statement definitively, the universe and the forces that are within it We'll take that as a challenge, and next week we'll have Donald Trump declaring himself emperor of the world and going to war with, like, I, I don't fucking know, some random African countries, because why not? Because, you know, oh my, like, I can't, okay. It's, it's pain. It's, it's legitimately <laughs> painful. Um, speaking of Donald Trump, and I thought this was going to be your news, um, so he was over in Japan, I believe it was Japan for um they're doing war games right now right right um and he does a poll now i can't remember exactly how many people he pulled i think it was like one ship i could be wrong <laughs> i in my head i want to say something like around 30 but it might have been 300 yeah either way just random sailors would you want to keep the gas operated um, it's basically a slingshot system that launches aircraft into the air from the aircraft carriers right or what I believe DARPA, maybe not developed by DARPA, but what the military is pushing to be developed and put into the carriers is an electric new system for that. He just goes out there and asks, well, what do you guys want? And they, I guess, majority of them said, we'll keep the gas operated system. Right. And Donald Trump goes, okay, that's what my uh, uh, cabinet's going to do. We'll make sure they don't just pull in the new system. No idea if the new system has advantages over the old system what the problems of the old system why nope just donald trump just decides he's fucking gonna do this because he asked a couple guys just don't get me wrong you're talking about the united states military which has a history of upgrading things that do not need to be upgraded right or building things and spending way too fucking much money on concepts that never pan out right, just like our right. stealth helicopters that we're going to replace the apaches we spent or an the, ungodly amount of the that. stealth bombers the f-35 that, yeah that's still which still, now now is like we have them <laughs> grant like yeah, but we have $87 billion dollars worth of planes we'll never use. <laughs> yes. Well, 
this it replaces a lot of planes. The thing is, we already had those planes. Yeah. So it's kind of it's like, what like, are we oh, doing great. now? This this is a great jet. It is. It's a great jet. It's just we spent so much more on it than we should have with Boeing with that contract. It was ridiculous. <clears throat> yeah. But either way, so I granted, I I can see where they might just be doing this to spend money. The U.S. military, the U.S. government does that all the time. Yeah. No. I mean, we we I I've seen that like. Just in school systems, well, they'll do something arbitrarily just to spend the just money to they spend give. The money otherwise, just they won't to get try this. and get the next funding. Yeah, because yeah. otherwise, you know, oh well, you guys didn't spend all that money. We're going to give you less funding this exactly, time. Exactly. Exactly. Like, no, no, give us, give but us. But I would hope, you know, I would hope there would be, you know, some research, some. Dude, no, this is Done. the U.S. No, government. We him. don't need to it's read. Just, it's apparently like the military, like, I don't know, advisors, everybody around were just kind of like, uh, okay. America, well, I'm not, I was elected to lead and not to read. Yeah. Come on, man. Yep. We don't read in this country. That's why the illiteracy rate is so damn high. Or something. I don't know. What, what is it? 17% of high schoolers. Only 17% of high schoolers can actually fucking read at the grade level they're at. It's like... I don't know. It's ridiculous. I, w- I was No reading, funding for schools. No funding for health care. But we can we can spend $50,000 on a specially designed toilet seat. Yeah. Because it has to be made and molded and all that. Which I understand that it's going to be expensive because of how it needs to be manufactured. But why are we manufacturing it in the first place? Why do we actually need it, you know? Like why? Why does the why is that implementation needed anyway? Let's it's just move ridiculous. on. Let's talk about that's something. something I thought I just had read that and was kind of like, oh come on, it's you know a lot of these guys, they're gonna say keep the old system simple because they know it. Yeah, not knowing if there's gonna be. I mean, yeah, maybe advantages it's, to the new system over the old gas operated system. Maybe I mean, it's, it's worked for I fifty know. years, so sure. Maybe it's less prone. To, maybe the gas system explodes sometimes. Or it needs more maintenance. And oh, this, yeah. This shouldn't. And this new one doesn't. I mean, granted, you know, how often does that work out where a new system just works when they say it's going to work? That's that's part of the problem. <laughs> that's right. part of a problem we've had. I mean, it's for, one of those theoretical things. Like, that's what they said when they developed the M16 and put them into the hands of soldiers in Vietnam. Yeah. It just works. No, it fucking doesn't. Sure the fuck doesn't. But, yeah. I mean, you know, you see that with Teslas too. Like they say, oh, you never need to maintenance. Oh yeah, never gonna need maintenance. You always yeah, need maintenance. always need maintenance. Everything Things maintenance. Are gonna break down. Things are gonna break down. Doesn't if matter you how well you build. Yeah, you're gonna have maintenance. Yep, because you got to replace ball bearings. You got to replace. You got to relubricate shit mm-hmm. at, the, at the very least. You know, like come on, come on, buddy. Although you know, well, I kind of like the idea of less work on the engine. Sure, that's great. Until you need to get it replaced. Yeah. Because, you know, something inside that spins just gave out. I do get the the difficulty with stuff, stuff like Tesla's where you can't take it to a shop. No, you, you have to take it yeah, to an authorized place. You've got to go to an authorized place. It's, like, yeah, that's not one of those things where you can pull into, like, Joseph yeah. Toyota up here and get it worked on. Like, exactly. no, you have to take it. You have to find yourself a place that's local to you that can repair Teslas, you know? It's going to be one of those barriers for entry that's going to make it harder for those vehicles to become more common, which I think doing a, more hybrid vehicles and getting those to be more common so you start having places with that skill set right. or at least something close like where so they, they have ex- start learning it yeah where they have experience working with the batteries exactly. working with the systems you know that are in place right yeah i mean i don't know i it's, like the idea of tesla so i like what they're doing oh yeah i just the way they're doing it is i don't think it's sustainable for very long and uh well i think the hope from tesla still goes to, to that where they had the patent open yeah that it's like hey we won't be the only ones and if they're not other you know there's competition I mean, there's definitely competition. You know, BMW is building electric cars in the same vein. You yeah. got Toyota. You got all these other, Chevy with the Chevy Volt and shit like that. Like, they're jumping on. Yeah. Uh, just maybe not as quick. But, hey, whatever. Um, so, 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 Luke. Yes. Let's talk about the big topic of the night. Yeah. Because Mario Maker. Mario Nintendo Maker. being stupid. No, this is something I did want to talk about real quick tonight. Yeah, just no, absolutely, because that is stupid. How just the fuck? Nintendo being Nintendo once again. Like, how the fuck? Like, co- couch co-op. Great. Yep. Awesome. Amazing. Do you not fucking realize how big this country is? Like, do you seriously? Not? I can't fucking drive down to Florida to play Mario Maker with my friend. Yep. Come on, man. So Nintendo announced Mario Maker 2. 
big deal. Uh, Which, you know, I am 100% interested in because I'm a huge Mario and platformer fan, right? Yeah. But they have made it, so this game's got co-op. I think Mario, the first Mario Maker, didn't. I don't think it did, So this has multiplayer. It's got co-op. Um, except Cal- it's not going to be co-op playable online. I mean, it will be. Only except well, you can't play with friends. You can't play with friends. Yeah, yeah. like they which will have, defeats the whole only fucking randos. purpose. Only randos, which is so stupid. Which means you might get lined Why up with a dick from know. Austria who just sits there and kills you every single time. Uh, you just might. You just end up with anybody. I don't want to fucking chat and play Mario with anybody. I'm terrible at fucking Mario. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you want to play with your friends. Exactly. Like, that's the point of playing online with, you know, like, like that's, just... that's the point of having social features. And there are a lot of people out there who are defending Nintendo. Like, oh, man, the it's, whole... so, it's so service is so cheap. Listen, playing online with friends has been a basic feature of any and yeah. all online so services. You can do it with other games. For the last 15, 20 years. You that, can that do it with other Nintendo thing. games. They're... They're... Mario Kart 8, yeah. Super Smash Bros. Their whole defense is, their whole excuse, rather, it's not a defense, it's an excuse, is all that, oh, well, we have leaderboards. Nobody and fucking this, cares this about leaderboards. This jeopardizes the leaderboards. Ex- fucking exactly. Even those who defend, how? well, you have to protect, no. How does it, how does no it jeopardize the leaderboards? Shit. That, first off, how does it jeopardize the leaderboards, other than you and your friend being good at the fucking game? How dare you I get guess paired it up with someone more who's... more likely for you to be able to cheat? I don't fucking know. But how? Or it's not fair, quote unquote, if two randos get together and do a level in point, you know, 21.6 seconds and you do it in 21.5 because you're with your friend. That's how it it's fuck, stupid as hell. That's how competition works, though. Exactly. It, like, doesn't, make, exactly, it like, doesn't make any sense oh, there. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it doesn't make any sense. But it it's doesn't. Nintendo. It is. Nintendo gonna Nintendo. It, it makes it makes perfect sense f- in the context of Nintendo. Yeah. In the context of the real they, world, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. online everything. And I've said it before. It's 20 bucks a year, which is great. But everything about it is so fucking ass backwards that it's just they're they're like 10 years, 20 years behind everybody else. Seriously. It's insane the amount of just the, the separation between Nintendo and literally any other online You know platform. though? You know though? They're online. It's comical. Like it's Nintendo. The Switch online, I'll give it this. Hmm. It has a cart. Yeah. It, it has doesn't a, have a fucking cart. It's, the eShop it's a has a cart. E-shop. E-shop's, <laughs> eShop's got a cart. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I remember the eShop wouldn't let you save your credit card details, and people were fucking pissed about that. They, they fixed in like a week. Wait, what happened? You don't remember that? No. Uh, at first, when they first launched, when they dropped the Switch, yeah. uh, eShop came out, yeah. you could enter your credit card information, but it would not save it. Oh, So wow. every time you would have to re-enter your credit card information or PayPal worked and PayPal saved. But like that was a that was a big deal. Like People were legitimately pissed about that. But like I said, they fixed it in like a week or a month. Um, how long is Epic's game store? It's like six months out. Yeah. Like, like no, their the roadmap after, the roadmap's like, like, six after months. like the couple months they were already out was six months out. So yeah. nine months or so before you get a cart. Before you have uh, Are you fucking kidding me? I'm so pissed still pissed about no that. Reviews. Like, I'm not going to use Epic Games Store, right? Because I'm just not. Like, it's, it's, it's a, one of those. It's a joke. It's one of those things where it's like, I, I've already got seven game stores. I don't yeah. want a fucking eighth game store just to play one or two games. I don't want your launcher. I don't I, want. That's what it is. Like, I have Bethesda. I have a uh, fucking Blizzard. I have Origin. I have you play. I have fucking Gog. Although Gog, I'm actually fine with. Yes, yeah. you know. And then I have Steam. So that's, I have six game launchers, and I'm sure there's two or three I'm fucking forgetting. What is Unity? Is Unity one? I don't no, remember. Unity is okay. the game dev. Oh, so okay, that's yeah. that's six. I have six fucking game stores. Uh, all of those game stores, I have. A maximum of maybe five games, with the exception of Steam. Mm-hmm. So I have five game stores with five games max on each game store. Yeah. Why? Fucking why? Just annoying. Oh, um, GOG is going to start opening. Um, is it their their, their launcher will launch games from uh, uh, Epic? Well, I know that I don't remember. Um, there's something uh, they're doing that. They're doing something. Well, I, know I just saw the headline. I didn't get a chance to read it. See, I don't. I don't know. Um, I, I Gog's like the only 
I guess, secondary or non-Steam game store I don't yeah. have a problem with um, because they don't actually have DRM. Yeah. Right. Like you don't need their launcher if you want to play the games you buy there because you can you can you can buy yeah you can download the D and the the biggest point at just downloading their game store or their game client as Mm -hmm. it really is because the game store is just the website Mm -hmm. um, is the fact that it'll just keep the software up to date for you. Yeah. So you don't have to go seeking out software based, which is fine. That's great. And honestly, GOG is super light on resources compared to something like Origin or something. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I have found in the past that Origin slowed my PC down a little bit. Um, and you play as a fucking garbage you, dump, oh dumpster God. fire. You play as such a fucking dumpster fire, it's awful. And you see the Blizzard launcher literally has, what, 11 games? Yeah. Because that's all Blizzard does, which is fine, but they can just as easily... <laughs> like, you have a launcher for 11 fucking games, but this is just as bad. Yeah. They have a launcher for, what, four games? Like the, this, what? Sky Fallout. Fallout Four. Uh, I think Skyrim Legendary Edition can use the the launcher. Uh, ESO and the Fallout card game seventy six too. And the Fallout so five. so five games. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, Bethesda. Nice job, Bethesda. And it's, God forbid you bought one of the digital copies of a game from yeah, GameStop right? because you then have to download GameStop's online store oh, no, and then redeem the no. code so that you can use the code on a service like Origin. So I had to, that's what I had to do when I first bought the uh, um, the first uh, Titanfall game. Oh no. Oh, to no. fucking use the code, activate it there, and then download Origin and activate my copy on Origin. Most retarded bullshit like Ever. that's so so convoluted, man. Oh, it was. I was so mad. I immediately uninstalled the GameStop. Yeah. Fucking thing. Yep. It's like, why? What the fu- what what is your fucking purpose? To spy on you, collect the data so they can turn it around. I mean, and sell that, it, sell if it. if they had made a legitimate case at being the competition for, um, if if GameStop had realized, hey, we're dying, let's uh like, uh, t- turn over. Um, let's pivot to a new, pivot exactly. Yeah. Fuck it, couldn't think of the word. Let's pivot to online distribution and actually become a comp- competitor to Steam. Years ago, having a full function store, I mean, it still would have had GameStop all over it, which, eh. But, I mean, you could have had legit competition to Steam, something I mean, yeah, halfway yeah. decent. Like, like when Blockbuster was offered to buy Netflix back in the day. Exactly. Same fucking deal. Like, if you just, if you just done something like that. Like, how fucking far ahead of the game would you be right now? Yeah. Oh, well, they would have had the distribution instead of then trying to later on distribute through mail. And Netflix going, no, no, no. We have a patent on that or a copyright or whatever and sued the fucking shit out of Blockbuster. I mean, Blockbuster was dying And then the anyway. kiosks that yeah. fucking got them sued by Redbox. Yep. It's hilarious. There's one. I think there's one blockbuster left in Bend, Oregon. I'm gonna have to double check. I follow their Twitter. I don't remember. Um, but the last blockbuster is what it's called. But yeah, I, it's just it's. I mean, silly. blockbuster as a company still does exist. Uh-huh. Um, you can get you can get a blockbuster video on Dish Network. Dish bought up that. Uh, uh, they bought the name. They bought. They well, bought. Hell, somebody bought Circuit City. Circuit City. Exists yes, in there's there's now. one left. Tiger Direct. Two Eleven Northeast Revere Avenue in Bend, Oregon. Nice. That's that's the last blockbuster left. And um, yeah, they they. Uh, that's 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 it. That's all that's left. Blockbuster exists as a singular store in Oregon, and a Dish Network TV channel. <laughs> Like, that's it. That's all that's left. Since 2011, Blockbuster has been a part of Dish, and you can still make it a Blockbuster night. Continue a Blockbuster experience when you sign up for Dish and get access to thousands of new releases from the comfort of your home. No. (laughs) No, we're good. No, I'm good, dude. I have... I got Netflix. And and even that is, like, as soon as Disney launches, I'll be looking at Netflix like, I don't know, bro. Um, I, yeah, aside from, like... I like the stand-up. Yeah, I was going to say, aside from stand-up comedy... There's not much that would keep me using Netflix. Like, even now, I don't use Netflix that often. Like, like yesterday, I used it because I got high. I was sitting there playing Fire Emblem Warriors on my phone, exactly. and I pulled up a John Mulaney special. Like, that's that's what I use it for. <laughs> when I want to watch a movie, I find that movie that I can watch somewhere, and watch I watch it. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, that's not always... Um, yeah. We get the movie. We get the movie. I, I, I acquire the movie through means that I've, I'm deeply experienced with, and I watch it. Um, 
I was watching. There's a new show on Netflix called uh, Roast uh, History Roast Battles or something like that. Oh yeah, um, yeah, it's been advertised to me. Yeah, and, uh, it's uh, it's not bad. Is it? Yeah, I, I kind of like it. It's funny. It's 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 like it's some history knowledge mixed obviously with comedy. Uh, the first episode has John Stamos and um, it's the dad from Full House. Bob Saget. Uh, Bob Saget. Yeah, Bob Saget plays Abraham Lincoln, uh, being roasted by uh, his wife uh, Harriet Tubman and John Stamos playing um, John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's, it's actually really good. I'm gonna have. I might. I mean, Netflix has been throwing it up in my face because I watch. Like, like I said, I use Netflix for basically stand up comedies. Yeah. And, like, the occasional binging a show that's on there, like The Office or something. Yeah. So, like, that's... Documentaries, too, every once in a while. Yeah, documentaries. Like they have some decent... The Netflix, I guess, does still have its its purpose. I don't I don't have a purpose for Amazon uh, Prime, other than that my packages get here sooner. Yeah. Like, I've, um, I've looked at the videos, like, what they have. The thing twice. is, like, they actually have, like, good shit on there. They have a lot. I just can't stand, like, actually navigating through there. Um. Yeah, I, I hate navigating it. Both on my PC mm-hmm. and on my Shield. Like, my Shield is a top-tier device. It's, like, three or four years old now, but it's still really good. Mm-hmm. And Amazon's uh, app is the only app on there that I use, period, because I don't use it regularly. So yeah. I'm just going to say use. Um, it's slow. It's slow and clunky. That's annoying. Yeah, like, uh, maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm, like, the YouTube app is shitty. Because it's Google, and Google makes shitty apps. Mm-hmm. And it's better. It's faster. It's more responsive than the Amazon app. Netflix, the same way. It's faster and more responsive. Plex. Weird. Plex is like the best fucking app on that damn, on that damn shield. Mm-hmm. And that's how I watch my movies. So, you know. um, like, And if you ever do decide to invest in Plex and get all that server, yeah. buy a Plex Pass. Just, just fucking do it. That's the it, online server thing you have? No, that's oh. the... Uh, well, Plex is like... That's where... My shield sits out there, my computer's in there, and I stream everything from oh, there to okay. there, and it's just simple, dead, easy setup. Yeah. Plex Pass is worth it, though. It just gives you all that and everything on any device you have, period. Ah, oh, okay. Across the internet and all that. You're, if it needs to, it will re-encode shit on the fly. Like, it's so fucking great. Nice. But, um, yeah, no. Yeah. I, I just... I can't I can't find a use for Netflix anymore. Yeah. I can't find a use for Amazon Prime Video. Even though they've got shit I do want to watch like Doctor Who and all that. I just don't I don't know what it is. I don't care anymore. Um yeah, I just I every time I search Prime Video like I saw a show that I want to see, but it's oh, it's not releasing until like fucking August or July or something. Throw it on your I'm watch like, list okay, and forget about it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'm fucking look for something else. And then I look for 15 minutes and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to watch anything right now anyway. Yep. And then I'm done. And that's, that's, that's how Amazon Prime gets. And then you're, and then you're, or I'll search for a stand up. I'm like, oh, this person's stand up supposed to be on Amazon and then find, oh, hey, there it is. It's just not Prime. And no, I have to pay for it. I have to pay five ninety nine to watch it. mind. To rent it for three days. God. Well, yeah, I don't know, mad. man. Yeah. Like you kind of just give up. Uh oh, let's. What did that yell about? I don't know. Our cameras being dumb guys. It stopped recording. No. Oh. It's cardful. I don't know. Oh well, we'll start recording again. The video might be short this week. Who knows? I. You know what? There might not be a video. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll record myself playing sigil and then I'll throw that or or, <laughs> or something so, like that. Yeah. Do, do, do. Sigil, for one. anyone who doesn't know, is um, it's John Romero's new expansion, unofficial expansion to the original Doom. Yeah. Uh, so it's a f- unofficial. Oh, fifth I did episode. hear about that. Yeah, yeah. And I, I went ahead and bought um, the uh, the 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 edition with the the soundtrack. It's mm-hmm. really the soundtrack is fucking amazing. It should be. Yeah, it's um, they got Buckethead to do it. Ha! <laughs> and um, I don't know who the fuck Buckethead I heard that is. Name in years. But the dude is fucking brilliant. Well, he's one of the greatest guitarists, like, on the planet. Like, I remember fucking that he, he was back in the days of MTV. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, it was like when you would see Buckethead. Yeah. I can't even remember what fucking bands he was a part of. Oh. But all I can say. just was known as being, like, one of the best guitarists. All I can say is 
the entire soundtrack, what I've heard so far, Mm -hmm. um, it sounds like old school Metallica, but in all the best ways. Yeah. And none of the shitty ways. Because you remember how in the 80s, and I'll, I'll give them early 90s, where they were just amazing and they were great. They hadn't done that formula shit yet, where they yeah. just made the same music over and over again. Okay, what's it saying? Oh, well, it. fuck it. More video you <laughs> well, we might have a short one. Okay, so maybe not a full video. It'll just cut to uh, the background because the fucking, I don't know. I'm using a different memory card, and I guess the memory card's a piece of shit. <laughs> it was a memory card that was in my Switch, so that's kind of makes no. me upset. But anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah. we're sitting there, and uh, like it, it's just it's just good. Like every track, it, it fits the level it's on, and like I said, it, just, it reminds me so much of good early Metallica. Yeah, like before they just started doing rehashing the same shit over and over again. So. Okay, so That's pretty cool. we're about a half hour into this podcast. Should we, we start, start talking, talking about, about Godzilla? Godzilla? Yeah. yeah. All right. Because <clears throat> that movie, it was good. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was fucking giant monsters fighting. It's it's exactly what I wanted to see. It's exactly what it needed to be. Yeah, oh yeah. Like like if you got if if there's a critic out there who is complaining that the Godzilla movie was light on plot. You're not only an idiot. I'm. I'm just gonna go ahead and say you're an idiot. You're missing the fucking point. It's a Godzilla movie. There is no plot. It's big fucking monsters fighting each other. <laughs> you know, like like that. That is the plot. Everything else is just to get us to the next big monster fight. It's all the scientific mumbo jumbo and all the random bullshit that the characters say. Yeah, it's just so that they could have a reason. It's just a reason to move the plot forward and to do something else, just to keep keep the movie flowing, keep it going. Like I don't, I'm fine with that. It's just I mean, more that's big what it, fucking monsters. That's what I was expecting. That's what I was, you know, like like why would you why would you expect anything different if you go in to a movie like Godzilla and you're expecting an intricate story with amazing details? It's your own fault that you're fucking disappointed by it. I don't think you can go to a movie anymore expecting a good story, period. Like, <laughs> any movie. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I'm going to definitely give you that one. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it's... it's it, it, I will say, I get it if you're annoyed that uh, the movie completely takes itself seriously. Like, I like that the monster fights are serious and stuff. Yeah, like, that, absolutely. They should be. Godzilla's like, yeah, no. fucking serious. <clears throat> but the fact that they try so hard... With the monarch and those people, and by the way, that organization is way more funded than they fucking I thought they were, because apparently because they have their own fucking military. I yeah, like I don't, a, they have their own super jets and they're like shield just, on steroids. Yeah, it's, like it's seriously, like shield. It's like they have they they might as well have their own helicarrier fleet. Like it's like it's like uh like you see the Kingsmen and how they've been funded. Mm. It's like that to the to the hundredth power. Exactly. Like, like, uh, like super tech, and they have like they have like a giant. W- it's even more than the Kingsmen because the Kingsmen don't have a fucking military. That's what I'm like, saying. That's why I said it's yeah. the power of a hundred. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Kingsmen are, they got money, right? It's very evident. They have They've money. Got they money. have tech. They have technology. Some of them. So you take what they have, you multiply that by a hundred, and you get monarch because they have tech, they have people, and they have a military. Yeah. Like it's just. Why? And good. where does the money for this shit come from? That's what I love because they're not a – they're not – maybe they are a gov- – they didn't say they weren't a government organization. But they were arguing to try and have them put under military jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. So maybe they are funded completely by the government. Maybe uh, – maybe. Yeah, like but where is so, all the – like – like? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. Like, well, they've existed from, for years. years yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. But I don't know. I just love that they 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 use the fucking monsters in this movie. Yes. And you get to see them actually fight. That was my biggest problem with the last Godzilla movie is they constantly did the cutaway crap. Yeah. And there's an entire fight that happens that you don't see until you see it through news like a new like like someone's watching a TV and there's a news report of the fight. This movie doesn't fucking do that. Oh no. If there's a fight, you see it. Uh huh. 
Yeah, like, like the uh, the, the plot's ver- bad. <laughs> and like I said, so like like we said earlier, like that's it's meant to be. Yeah, the plot. Like the plot that is there is only there to to move, keep the story moving forward. Otherwise, you just have a bunch of disconjointed fights. Which, by the way, I'd watch a Godzilla flick where thing. it was just all the fights exactly. in a row and like, none of the plot. Know, I, don't I don't even fucking care. Oh, what they just detonated a nuclear bomb underwater where Godzilla's sleeping. Okay, fine, I'll take it. Is he gonna fight King Ghidorah? Is he gonna go fight the thing and punch the thing. Yeah, yeah all right, gonna, let's go. Is he gonna breathe his radioactive flame breath on yeah. it? Yes, fucking do it. There's, it's almost like half the time the plot is used to have people like sacrifice themselves nobly yeah (laughs) Yeah. it's like oh okay i get it yeah um but yeah no it's just it's it's silly and it's fucking great it's over the top monster fights it's it's pretty fucking good i want to i'm not gonna i walked out happy yeah no totally like you know that was actually one of the very first things that i said and i i tweeted it and everything (laughs) Uh, now that was a Godzilla movie. So here's my thing. So I want this now to cross over with Wonder Woman because they both chose to have uh, Tyrion Lannister. Or not Tyrion Lannister. Tywin um, Lannister. Tywin Lannister as their evil person for some reason. Wonder Woman. Yeah, remember in Wonder Oh, I'm sorry. It was in uh, BVS. 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 Or, no, 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 no. The next one. God, I hate all the Warner Brothers. Movies. I don't know what you're talking about. In uh, uh, Warner Brothers version of Avengers, Justice League. Justice League. I can't think. I'm so fucking tired. I'm so exhausted. In Justice League, the very beginning, when you see Wonder Woman, she like stops that museum massacre. It's Tywin Lannister and his random. Holy shit! Is it? Yeah, he's like I don't the random that. mercenary slash terrorist. Who's going to kill her? And he's like, we're going to set up. We're going to start this war. You can't stop it. Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, shut the fuck up. I'm Wonder Woman, bitch. Slaps the shit out of him. Bitch slaps him. Yeah. And then he, Tywin Lannister's like random eco-terrorist in this movie, too, for no reason. Like, I don't. I love that. Like. I like the actor, so I'm I not complaining. Charles Dance is an I amazing was, actor. I, I, I think it's like the dumbest excuse for a human villain ever of, oh, he's an eco-terrorist. He's just going to want to He wants to set the reset, world back to the natural yeah, world. Yeah, he's set the world back to the natural order. Humans are destroying the world. Oh, we'll all die. The world will be fine. Yeah, no, it's like George Carlin said. The planet is fine. We're the ones who are fucked. Exactly. <laughs> the planet will recover. It'll be okay. It'll mm. find a way to keep going. They pull that whole oh that from the you know that it's just like um volcanoes and forest fires the mm-hmm. world recovers it's like well fucking recover from us too oh, all this dumb shit will. we're doing sure we won't but yeah. it will it'll we'll be die. fine we'll have the whole ex- uh, <laughs> we'll have a fucking um it's like okay this reminds me of a george watsky lyric yeah. In one of his songs where he says, you call, you stop calling Pluto a planet, it's going to keep spinning in, a, in the same old yeah. place. It doesn't give a shit. Just like the Earth doesn't give a shit. It'll exactly. keep spinning. Unless we literally blow it up, it'll just keep going. I don't and, know. Maybe and, fracking. Maybe that's... Maybe just I don't know. I, accidentally I chip something that sets some shit off. And maybe so. Maybe we hit a fault line that we didn't know mm-hmm. it was there, and we split the continent in half, which eventually splits the world in half. Fine. We're all going to die. Yeah. Then, oopsies. But <laughs> For the most part, though. Yeah, no, the world will recover. Literally, just like the fucking forest fires and the volcanoes, our shitty ass destruction of the environment will the it'll all come back. It'll too. all come back. Yeah, it's I just mean, how the fucking world works. I mean, we still have at least another four or five billion years in that sun being yeah. the sun. You know, which it it kills me too that at one part throughout the movie they release they want to release the monsters like we said to turn the world back to natural world. order. Essentially wipe out most of humanity. Yeah. And then we're assholes, let's be honest here. We and then this. it turns out King Ghidorah is eviler evil and he just wants to destroy everything. Because which is what they were doing anyway. Because um and he's not from our planet. No, he, which is my one of my favorite things this movie established is that yeah. King Ghidorah is an alien, which you know, you could say he was sent here by someone else and we can get at the some of those Godzilla plots where there's fucking an alien race that look like humans, except they develop um, monsters to try and clear our planet so they can come in and harvest our natural resources. Oh, so like Saiyans. King Ghidorah, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of. I mean, send, that's what Saiyans oh, do. Someone told me the well, plot. okay, Saiyans ravage the planet, destroy everything on it, and then sell the planet. This is a side thing, but it's kind of funny to me. Yeah. The plot for that Brightburn evil Superman movie is literally 100% Saiyans. 
They send an infant to a planet, wait for a certain amount of time, activate the infant, which in Dragon Ball, they activate as soon as uh, they they wake up. But in this case, it wait a certain amount of time, activate the infant, super powerful, destroys the civilization, take over the planet. <laughs> it's literally the... I was like, so they literally stole the Saiyan storyline from... Dragon Ball, some or Dragon Ball Z, and some no, it was like, Dragon Ball. Well, no, yeah, so well, Dragon, like, no, yeah, no, that's Dragon literally what they do. That's yeah. the Saiyans thing. That's their mo. They send a baby to a planet. The baby wipes out the planet. This is not. <laughs> it was funny to me. And I was. I like, mean, that's how. Yeah, that's how it works. Like that's, that's they what they just did. Stole, so they was told Superman and combined him with like Goku. <laughs> can go? Can Goku defeat Superman? Not when Goku is Superman. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Evil Superman Goku. Baby. Well, not baby anymore. Teenager. 12-year-old. But anyway, two Godzilla. Pre-teen. Yeah. Two yeah. Godzilla, that's like they they that's, they that's send monsters. Eventually, <clears throat> they send like Mecha, uh, Mecha King Ghidorah and things right, like right, that. Right, 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 yeah. Because I think Mecha Godzilla was in the movies built by humans to fight off Godzilla. I could be wrong. Could have been the alien species. I don't know. Dude, I don't know. They it's, infiltrate. Godzilla and, is one of those things where it's so convoluted. There's yeah. There's because a there's lot so of, much that like happens. There's, there's so many monsters. Like forty movies or something. Yeah, maybe more. Like God. tons of monsters, but I love them. I oh I, yeah, no, they're, they're cheesy they're, in just the right ways. They're great. They're they're so bad. Some yeah. of them. It's just when you get past, you have to get around the really really bad ones that mm-hmm. were cheesy, like ultra cheesy. Like, if it was made now, Godzilla would be dabbing type horrible. Oh, um, no. Don't give him any But you get ideas, away from like... that and you get into, like, really good Godzilla. You like, know, I got Godzilla. Like, you know, uh, um... Godzilla. King of All Monsters, I think, was the, the Japanese. It might have been a Japanese name of a movie, too. Uh-huh. Um, traditional Toho Godzilla that was fucking great. Uh, Godzilla 2000. Um you said um, Shin Godzilla, the newer one, where Godzilla—it's the—it it goes back to this is a representation of the nuclear bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, where Shin Godzilla is just a fucking being of destruction. Right. You said Godzilla dabbing. Yeah. You know where I could see that happening in a Power Rangers, like yeah. I can see that happening in Power Rangers where they're fighting a lizard that's similar to Godzilla Ugh. and it beats them Make and then vomit. dabs on them like just dabs on the power and beats the shit out of him and dabs on him. That's so perfect to the fucking 90s Power Rangers. It's <laughs> like, so, so much things like, oh my God, no. Surprised. That's the origin of dabbing. We just yeah. didn't know. We just didn't know. Um, I mean, yeah, like go, if you ever want to torture yourself or see some of the cringiest shit, go back and check out some of the commercials. For I think in the '90s, maybe the 2000s too, and American commercials where they use Godzilla to advertise things like Coke and oh my Taco God, Bell. I remember that. I remember Taco Bell advertising for Godzilla for the American Godzilla movie, which was awful all around. That's actually how they sold that movie. Yeah, how they made money for the opening, even though the movie was fucking terrible. They knew it was going to be terrible. Yeah, they advertised super heavily. Plus, on top of that, they make money from the advertisers where they put it all over the place. The Taco Bell, Mm -hmm. there's different cars and tons and tons of stuff. And then when the movie came out, everyone was like, oh my God, this is going to be like the movie to beat. This is going to be like a generational masterpiece of a movie. And it was utter trash. So fucking awful. The CGI is just, even for that time, was terrible. And everyone's like, yeah, Nikito, go fuck yourself, Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Like, everyone was pissed after that. I mean, it wasn't Taco Bell's fault. Taco Bell was giving a bunch of money to do a thing. They, you know? Yeah, they were, you know, giving them money. To but I, I, I distinctly remember uh, there being the Taco Bell dog mm, talking to chihuahua. Godzilla, giving him tacos. Like, Nikito I remember that. Bell. Like, it was <laughs> dumb as shit, but I remember so that. So bad. But I yeah, they, remember that. The, when they used dude in a suit Godzilla yeah. from Toho, yeah. it, gets, it can get even worse. <laughs> Um, I don't know, man. I'm glad that we're not stuck in the middle of a lot of that marketing. <laughs> like, it's it's just so awful. Oh, God. But the movie was great. Yeah. Like, um, I love the way Godzilla moves. Even in the last movie, I loved it. In this one, that he's not... The, the the dude in the suit Godzilla was so awkward, obviously, because it's a giant fucking suit, rubber tail, rubber suit. Right. It's 900 degrees in that motherfucker. Right. But in this... It, it, they kept that that body style because Godzilla's got a fat ass. Yeah, he's super super bottom bottom he's, heavy. He's thick. 
But in this... Godzilla's thick as yeah, fuck. But he's got big fucking arms in this. And when he fucking trucks and tackles Ghidorah... That was awesome. Oh, it looks, that was he so looks good. fucking cool. Yes, The moving does. and everything looks amazing. I, I especially liked it when he just swept it. Godora's feet out from under him. Oh, the tail sweep? Yeah, the tail sweep. Ah! Was just, that was just so... <sighs> Which was one of those times they do that almost from the point of view of the people on the ground. Because uh-huh. there are people in this movie I they mean, do focus on the story. The dumbest shit in the world where they're trying to find the little girl and like in the fucking middle of a fucking giant monster fight. That made me mad. That they landed a plane in Osprey. Um, the vertical takeoff and landing, stupid plane helicopter hybrid. That again, another stupid military idea. Either way, they landed that thing in the baseball field where they Fenway attracted, Park. Fenway Park. Yeah, they've attracted Godzilla and King Ghidorah there to have them fight each other, basically to save other areas. Yeah, yeah. That hadn't been evacuated, and they're looking for this little girl just in the middle. King Ghidorah and Godzilla are like twenty feet away from him fighting. I would give forty. They're probably hundreds and hundreds, but they're the size of buildings. Yeah, like they're they're fucking they're they're like Empire State Building sized yeah. creatures. So like they're close enough that one of them stepped on the fucking helicopter. So yeah, yeah. you're too fucking close. One of them, like, yeah, it's like, oh my god, why? Like, oh, like, 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 it's one of those things. You look to the left, you look up. Oh, hello, you know. Yeah, like, you're no, they're like right killed. there. Why? Well, no, you just fucking go away because he doesn't want to lose his daughter. Gotta damn my daughter. Like, no, she's not. If she's there, she's dead. Yeah, That's it. absolutely. Just, just if she's still there, she's dead. Just give it up. Fucking wait on the plane. Once everything's destroyed, like that. Once the fight's over, then you go in. Yeah, but no, you don't go. In, you don't. Go, you never go in in the middle of a fight. It's like going in the middle of a tornado. Dumb what the fuck is wrong world. with you? God, it was dumb. But the fight was, was cool. awesome. The fight was amazing. I never knew uh, that Ghidorah was like a lightning monster. Yeah, oh, yeah. I never knew that. It's lightning. Um, each of his heads shoot lightning. I remember. I had, and I think it was Godzilla 2000. Yeah. They pushed heavy in the oh, United States, fucking... the toys. So I had a Godzilla figure uh, right. that roared, and I had a King Ghidorah where you, like, snap the double tail on. He's got the fucking wings that have, like, spikes on the end of them. Right. Um, and, yeah, King Ghidorah blasts, you know, he blasts lightning. Godzilla does his, like, atomic blast. Yeah. But King Ghidorah was the fucking beast in the... Um, in the movies. When Rodan was first introduced, he first popped up out of that mm-hmm. volcano, my first thought was, it's fucking Ridley. <laughs> oh my God, it's Ridley. <laughs> Ridley's a Godzilla? No way. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, because he, I mean, you know Ridley, yeah. he fucking, he lives in Norfair in, Met, in, in the Metro pops Universe. Pops out of a volcano. Fucking pops out of, like, lava and shit. Yeah. Like, it's nothing. Like, oh my God, it's you. Yeah. And I'm thinking, That was cool. I wonder, they they um, fucking... They, they did a lot of the monsters that they introduced directly, rather than just showing as yeah. being ex- in existence. They, I think they did a lot of them justice in, the, in their introductions. The funny thing, like, obviously they do Godzilla, King Ghidorah, Mothra, uh, and uh, Rodan. Rodan. Um, the monsters, there's monsters in the background who only, you see them yeah. destroying cities. You don't ever see them fight. I don't think there's a Muto, like, from the first movie. Right. Uh, there's a giant mammoth. I don't remember any of those from the Godzilla Toho movies, except for maybe one. There's one that basically is a mountain. Yeah. A mountain stands up, other than it looking for like it's from fucking Pokemon. Yeah, um, like, like, that reminded me so much of the Toterra. Yeah, the Toterra. I was like, oh, there's another one. Um, that it's a whole might fucking have mountain been, range just stands up. That might have been one I can't remember the name of, but yeah, I don't think I don't remember a mammoth or anything in the, unless it's in one Godzilla movie I saw when I was a kid. It's been years since I saw any of them, but I don't think any of them were named ones. But Rodan specifically, they made Rodan look fucking awesome, oh, being dude. a lava fucking. I mean, he's basically he's basically like yeah, a lava, lava chicken bird, lava chicken bird. <laughs> Lava, like, big fucking claws and everything. Yeah, just just a big bad. Like I loved how like the bottom of his wings were just magma. Oh yeah, just dripping, just dripping magma. Like that was the coolest yeah. fucking shit ever. It's like that is like fire personified, right? Yeah. Like that's what that exactly. was, and it was just so fucking cool. I wish he would have done more, like fucking shot fire or you know vomit like just lava, yeah, yeah something like, like that like spit hot magma yeah something uh, that'd be oh that'd be cool but no nah, he's considered one of the lesser yeah quote unquote the godzilla and king Ghidorah, the apex yeah and then i'm assuming they're gonna make king uh king kong will be another apex 
Um, I mean, he's just he's a big monkey. Gonna fight. He's just a, he's well, a he's big just fucking a big gorilla. Ape. He's a big ape. Like, yeah. Eh. I I mean, I want to <laughs> see it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I just, just thought of the fucking, shit. I just thought of the fucking uh, thing where Joe Rogan goes off about a gorilla working out. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> like, what we just that? never. What if King Kong just works out? Like he's just like he's just dude. fucking working out right now. Uh, they, I mean, they say he was uh, Kong. They mentioned Skull Island. Quite they a did, few times yeah, yeah. When they're talking about the Mutos waking up and things, mm-hmm. so Kong's fucking agitated by the shit that's going on. Yeah, which I think maybe that's what's going to be the intro is that something happens to Skull Island, the creatures bust out, blah 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 maybe the the part of that link is going to be Kong gets pissed that his island is under attack or something and or blames like Godzilla. Or invaded. Or, yeah, something or, like that. Like, like the, because there's the creatures that live under the ground. Mm. Maybe they bust out in mass and he had to fucking fight them off and now he's like, you motherfucker, it's, you woke this shit up even though it was King Ghidorah. You might blame Godzilla, go fight Godzilla and then... I mean, Godzilla's the alpha now, yeah. so I mean, you know, whatever. Yeah, um, so he might show up because he wants a fucking DK throwdown. Ooh. Um, they uh, fucking Banana. King Ghidorah being able to pick up Godzilla and that they did something that I want to say is straight out of the movies where Godzilla survives a fucking fall from atmosphere. Yeah. From fucking damn, from low orbit. Yeah. Where King Ghidorah lifts him up and flies. That was, that was such a cool fucking scene. That, oh, it was so... He wraps his neck and his tails around him and just fucking lifts him. Yep. Like, a thousand miles in the air and then just drops him. Just drops him. him. That's straight... I, I'm, like, 99% sure that's straight out of one of the movies. Mm-hmm. Maybe that wasn't King Ghidorah, but I remember him taking a fall from that height and then getting up afterwards. But, like, uh, Mothra, fucking... Mothra was really cool. Mothra didn't do as I was hoping Mothra would be in it more. Yeah, it was mostly like it, like the sporadic fight scenes they have in this movie are generally just King Ghidorah and Godzilla, right? Uh, and then you get you know Rodan and, and Rodan and Mothra, Mothra fight. Throw down. Did, like did King Ghidorah? Yeah, I guess Rodan ran into King Ghidorah, but he yeah, bitched no, Rodan, out pretty quickly. Rodan was point. going to fight like. And he got fucked up. Yeah, he was chasing. He was chasing. He, the, he went. Um, he went down. Da- he went after Ghidorah, and Ghidorah's having none of that shit. And yeah. Smacked him down. Yeah, and then he goes to attack sense. Godzilla while Moth got while King Ghidorah. Oh, like, I meant earlier in the movie when they when he first wakes up. Oh yeah, and they lead him. They their whole purpose. This this kind of ticked me off. Their whole idea is that they're going to lead Rodan away. Yeah, towards uh, King Ghidorah. Because he's just he's about to destroy this fucking city. Yeah. The direction that they lead him is directly over the fucking city, <laughs> which he's a fucking wingspan of fuck you, and flying low enough 700, at, 700, at 800 speed, feet. at speed that he's causes that fucking um, shockwave. That shockwave, by the way, that is throwing buses yeah. around. Wipes out that city. You fucking... You guys have just done the opposite of saving the you, city. How many you, people survived? Like, 30 people were on that last Osprey that yes. made it in? Like, that, that was it. That like, was it. Everyone else was fucking wiped the fuck out. If there were any boats that were evacuating from the shoreline, you've just caused a massive tidal wave away from the shore. It was... I was like, why are you flying over the city? Why the fuck are you flying over the what city. You, what the fuck you are you doing? Why aren't you flying a little bit north and I then around? Were, yeah, I thought you were trying to lead it away like, from the city. Like, like the fucking oh, the fucking God. volcano is like in the northeastern or the yeah. northwestern part of the island. They're flying directly east. Off. Like you couldn't go north a little bit and <laughs> then east. Yeah. Like I mean, or south and then east. Like go around the fucking <laughs> island. Granted, Rodan has almost catch them, but still, I mean, what the fuck. Yeah, but he goes in. And they do. He does fly in that storm, and he does try to fight. With, he, yeah, he runs into. He gets fucked up. He gets yeah, knocked. He gets, he gets smacked shit, down. Fucked like, down real quick. And then he's you know a bitch for the rest of the movie. He's King Ghidorah's bitch until yeah. And then he tries to attack uh, fucking Godzilla while Ghidorah's fucking him up later in the movie. And that's when Mothra shows up yep. and Mothra fucks. Well, sort of fights him and fights stuff. him kind of back and forth. Mothra's Mothra typically in the Godzilla movies is always even when it's not Mothra versus Godzilla. Yeah, when there's other monsters, they fight. Mothra's always like 
she gets the shit kicked out of it and then usually has to do some fucking the same basically the same exact thing except no, normally not dying i don't think it was always healing godzilla and then godzilla gets back up and fucking takes the shit you mm. know tears the shit out of whatever he's fighting but uh it was funny they did having mothra sting rudan though that was that so was cool. so fucking awesome that was amazing. i didn't see it coming it's just like ah! and he's like ah! it's like and rudan's about like, to fucking kill mothra and then think and then, like, you're thinking, what, did, did Godzilla intervene? Did something mm-hmm. going on here? And then it, it cuts to where there's just there's just a stinger, this giant fucking stinger sticking out through the fr- the back of Rodan. It's like, mm-hmm. oh. Yeah, because Mothra, in the movies and in, in, in history, has had a big fuck-off stinger. A horrifyingly huge stinger. Yeah, that thing was, like, 80 feet long and, <laughs> like, 25, 30 like feet wide at his base. Bee. Yeah. Like, like it, What? What fucking moth has a goddamn stinger? I thought it was going to be some stupid... I, I, I thought for a second that they were going to go goofy with it. Uh-huh. And because he just stops, like, completely with, honestly, almost a surprised, goofy look on his face. Uh, ah, I thought it was going to turn. And Godzilla was going to slowly pull Renan off and turn and just look at him. And Renan would just look at Godzilla like, I fucked up. <laughs> like, did have a moment? <laughs> And then they didn't he just that. blast him with the yeah, exactly. atomic breath, just, like, bah, <laughs> throw him away. But no, I'm glad they didn't do that. It yeah. was better. Oh, no. The, the way they did that with Mothra just stabbing, uh, that was awesome. I hope they didn't, they don't just, like, oh, Mothra's dead. Yeah. They probably will, though. But, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I like, get rid of, use the monsters again. Yeah. That was one of the best parts of the Toho movies. Yeah. Is that. Sometimes they weren't in the title of the movie, but they would show up. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, minus that there were the two little teeny twins that have to chant to wake Mothra up. Or, like, get Mothra to, you know, go into a chrysalis and then actually become Mothra. Yeah. Like, ah, there's a Mothra! It's <laughs> 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 the weirdest shit in the fucking world, but, eh, whatever. It worked. It we'll deal with it. Yeah. We're, okay. Were there two Asian twin like, ladies working... For I swear to God, there's because there's one um, at the base. I, I think I th- where Mothra was was at the waterfall. Yes, because there was there was and one. then there was the other one. Because I thought that was a reference. Were they were were they? Just... I don't know. I don't know if they were related, <laughs> but yeah, there were two young Asian ladies who looked yeah. pretty identical. They looked alike. Like yeah. I'm not <laughs> like the, my we're racist not... white person brain was like, oh wait, are they? Is this a reference? Are they twins? And then I'm like, I really hope they are because they look alike, and that's as far as I can tell. Like, we're not trying to be racist when we say that. We're not trying to say all Asians because look the they same. do like have three or four moments where when they're talking about Mothra, they they pan to one of these women and they play like the Mothra. Well, not only music that in the background. I mean, not only that when she's showing when when the other one who's been tracking Godzilla is showing like the pictures of her family and all yeah. the pe- all the women who had worked for. for oh yeah, they there are twins. There are okay, twins. So yes. maybe that they, maybe they were twins. They maybe they were. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't know, man. Because, yeah, she shows there's twins, blah, blah, and that's, yeah. that's the whole... There's a mother, those, there's a grandmother, there's an aunt, I think, and then there's, that's there's those younger girls links. where they look, they are exactly the same. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. So, yeah, I think it's fine. You know, yeah. you, I, there's probably well, twins, that and that's twins. probably that reference that you're yeah. thinking of, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, that's a huge reference to Mothra's, in Mothra's case, anyway, the, those Toho movies, is the twins. They're always There's always twins that, like, help make him up, and Mothra! I thought it was an absolutely ridiculous premise, though, when they go to find Godzilla under yeah. the ocean, and they fall into that vortex. Oh, I love, I love, love, love. It's one of the dumbest Hello parts Earth, of these yes. movies. No. Is that, that shows up. I don't remember the whole, the, the Hollow Earth being a thing in um, God, the Godzilla, but I remember in King Kong, he was talking about Hollow Earth. Yeah. And it was, like, treated as a joke, and then in this movie, is like, Hollow Earth, I knew it! I was like, ah, this is great. But it's the dumbest thing in the world. They, they get to what, what basically amounts to the underwater city of Atlantis. That's what I was going to say. It's fucking Atlantis. It's fucking Atlantis. And they find like this air pocket where the city sank or whatever, where Godzilla has been resting and, uh, you know, feeding off of radiation down there. They detonate a fucking nuclear warhead down there. Yeah, they're like, here you go, guys. We'll uh, go ahead and feed you, too. What a shithead, though. Like, you just destroyed his house. Yeah, you destroyed all of that shit. Why? Why do you do this? Hey, you know, it fucking worked, apparently. Save the, save the planet. He woke up. <laughs> he woke up and he was supercharged. He came back. He's like, oh, motherfucker. And, and to, then... kill, to kill King Gododora, he, he literally 
just blew himself up multiple times. Oh, well, that's... I don't remember... I don't remember what movie it's from, Mm -hmm. exactly. But that's something where I think Godzilla dies, quote-unquote, because he doesn't die. He always comes back more powerful. Right. He's kind of like a Saiyan in that. Or, like, Um, you know, a Jedi. Strike me down, I'll come back more powerful than you could ever imagine. No, because them coming back more powerful is because they talk to someone else. (laughs) Fucking lazy-ass Jedi. Fucking lame-ass Force Ghosts. But um, if they... If he immediately popped back and be like, oh, Force Ghost, he then stabbed Vader, then sure. <laughs> that but, would have uh, been amazing. But, uh, Somebody made that chicken, movie. Robot Chicken. But um, no, he, he comes back. I think when he comes back, or maybe it's when he's been too irradiated, which is essentially what it was in this, or something, something happens that causes him to go into that version of Godzilla or that like angry where he's fucking basically rage molten mode. lava where he's yeah he's he's essentially nu- unstable nuclear unstable so he just starts fucking detonating and he's just unstoppably powerful like I I, I don't know if King Ghidorah is the one he fights like that or if it's Mecha Godzilla, but it's something that's kicking his ass for you know 90% of a movie and then he comes back and just fucking destroys them which is exactly what happened in this absolutely he just fucking stomped the shit out of King Ghidorah melt, the two of the heads melt just from being near him yep and then he lets off a few explosions and, and it tears that stomps on it's off. fucking just steps on King Ghidorah and makes King Ghidorah fucking explode and then he rips that fucking head off, and you just, it just cuts to the next scene where he has the head in his mouth he's by the kinda, back of the it neck, was so and he's crazy. just swinging it around, smashing it around. And they're watching like, dude, <laughs> <laughs> and he fucking blasts. This <laughs> is fucking blast and blasts the head, vaporizes it basically from the like inside. That was so fucking cool. Looking. That was amazing, because it looked like. Uh, Dora or Ghidorah himself was blasting his yeah, mouth. Kinda. Yeah, kind of. Until like, he just fucking disintegrated. That was that was, oh, that was such a good movie. It's pretty um, dope. Go, it's, go see this movie. It's a good, dumb fucking monster fight movie. It's a monster fine. fight movie. It doesn't need plot. No. It, the it, plot it, is it, Godzilla's kicking things asses. There's there's lots of characters that do dumb in this, like, like, like the, every character that listens to the fucking random guy that they... He's up. looking for his family. They pick up a random guy, and now he's a military genius and expert on these titans and all this other shit. Right. That was that was funny to me. His wife, like, there's a, a what a twist in this movie that was like dumb as hell. Oh man, I don't know. But yeah, just go see it. It's good. It's great. It'll it'll keep you entertained. There's tons of great action. See it matinee if you can. Yeah, like like this is a movie I didn't mind paying full price for. But if I ever ever go see it a second time, I'm definitely playing the discount early bird of six bucks. Yeah, go see it. Um, whatever your I, I don't think it's worth seeing. Yeah, you know, wait till it drops in the dollar theater in a couple months and go see it then. That'll be yeah. fun too. You know, I mean, if you're like me, I'm like I said, I love. The Godzilla movies, every year Thanksgiving, I would sit there and just binge watch marathon of Godzilla movies. Right. Um, go see it whenever you can. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You know, any, absolutely. You know, casual fan of Godzilla or whatever, go see it, you know, matinee or something. If you have to, wait to run it. It is, it's just, it's, a, it's, it's good. big it really fucking good. monster fights. You know, it's, it's like, you know, it's like that scene with the Hulk in, at the end of Ragnarok. Yeah. Hulk, no, don't fight it. Big monster. Yeah. That's what it is. It's, it's big, a, monster. big monster. Monster. We'll fight the monster. All I right. love that. We're gonna have to wind it down there because yeah. um, it, it's it's almost my bedtime, <laughs> and uh, if you can't hear it in our voices, we are very tired. I yes. know we've mentioned that. So, for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See you. Godzilla. Godzilla. Godzilla.